Oh, what an only John Lovitz is in the studio with us. Hi, John. Oh, thank you. Hello. How are you? So, since you're out in Los Angeles, I thought I'd go through a couple of, uh, you know, kind of pop culture uh, I don't try, but I, I know most of these people. Like because I could be on TMZ later on because I'd have all the scoop from John Lovitz. Well, TMZ is, they're the worst. I hate that guy, Harvey Levin. He's just you do? Why? What is it with Harvey? One time I'm at the beach in Miami minding my own business, and, and they had these two older British women come up to me half naked and try to hug me and stuff and they videotaped it and then <laughs> said look at them, these women coming up to him you know if you think you're you know celebrities can't get women even if you're fat bald and ugly look at John Lovitz and I was like, it was just mean and then I did a benefit at a, a at an AIDS benefit and I did a joke which was an edgy joke and then he said I was racist and the really? joke was completely sarcastic. Oh. You know, he's gay, he won't admit it. You know, he, he's, his whole thing is, that whole site is to destroy people's careers. It's not to help them. TMZ stands for 30 Mile Zone. And what that came from was in, in, the, in the 20s to the 50s when the studios uh, were, had, you know, contracts with the actors, they would tell the actors, listen, don't, if you're going to mess around, do it within the 30 mile zone of the studios because we, we can control, you know, the press and the police and pay people off and, you know, but if you do it outside of that, right. we can't do anything. And what he's done is says, if you do anything within this 30 mile zone, we're going to get you and expose you. And it's just to ruin people's careers, you know, and, and he's, he doesn't pay his photographers. They'll come up to me and complain. Yeah. And I just think he's a disgusting human being. To put out that that uh, Alec Baldwin's uh, message to his daughter on his show, you know, and then he said, "Oh, I'm sorry." You know, he's a failed newscaster who wants to be famous. But they operate under that umbrella that they are the tabloid of the websites, and that's what they do. That's just what we do. We follow people around. We find the scoop on people. We get the bad stuff, and that's what makes news. And, and that's the umbrella. I'm not saying it's right. All I'm saying is that's his defense. Yeah, but he, but he crosses a line when he when he goes after people's children. When he when he says that I'm racist. When he says that. Oh, true. That's a strong allegation. And if you go on, if you go, on, and it says John Lovett's funny, racist, not funny. I I've never met the guy. I don't know what he has yeah. against. Me, except, except that he's Jewish and failed as a newscaster, failed as a right. on-air personality. I'm Jewish. I've succeeded. So I and and there was an article in Playboy about him where he he goes, I went to this school and all these kids were the sons of famous people and 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 then I thought, well, I, I'm uh, they're not better than me. Well, th there you go. He's just got this jealous chip on his shoulder. All know? right, let's let me move on, okay? All right. Okay. Let's go to a couple of uh, tabloid uh, stories that are out there. Uh, Larry Keith. Let's start with Larry Keith because you personally know Larry, right? Yeah, I know Larry. Uh, she's saying that he's cheating with her little sister. Mm -hmm. Larry what King at 76 out cheating? He's been married eight times. There's, <laughs> there's got to be a reason. Charlie Sheen. And all that's going on with Charlie Sheen and he and his wife. And now the words come out that Charlie is, is buying all these girls on the side. The only person that knows that that's true is, would be Charlie. Yeah, he's got a very successful show. I mean, yeah, I, I did fun. a show. I've been friends with him a long time. He's a great guy. And I, I don't I don't know. I mean, no one knows. Harvey Levin doesn't know. They were saying they had some pictures of him with a mustache and like a pooch belly thing as a disguise. I've never had to purchase a pooch belly because I have one. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm I've been just, trying to get rid of it forever. Just incognito. Did you ever, just because you wanted to go out and not have people hassle you, do you ever find yourself with the big hats, the glasses, the fake beards, anything like that? No, but I'll, I'll, if, I, if I have sunglasses on and people go, oh, you're in disguise? I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I am wearing sunglasses in the day. It's bright. I'm in disguise.